New video, new camera equipment. Today we're going to review the Manfrotto Tripod 190X3 together with the Fluidad MHX Pro 2W. One of the strongest tripod combos money can buy. We're going to review it. Hello again, welcome to this new video. If you've been following me for a while, a few months back I made a review in a search of a new tripod, a travel tripod for my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and I needed a tripod that was portable but still sturdy and able to support my Blackmagic with an external monitor and V-mount batteries. So quite a heavy payload. Of course that test failed, I bought the Manfrotto Compact Action and you can check the review I've done here and after a while I found out that wasn't the tripod for this camera. It's great for smaller camera, not for this setup. So I had to search for a new option stronger than the Compact Action and also my budget was a bit higher so I went up to £250 as a total budget and I found this great combination for that kind of money. Within this budget I was still looking for a tripod that was kind of portable, a bit lighter than many other tripods and also I wanted a fluid head for my video making of course and once again I wasn't looking for a huge fluid head and that's when I found this particular one. I want to say that I work as a travel video maker sometimes and even when I do normal video making jobs I'm usually commuting a lot so I'm traveling through transport, public transports, trains, buses and so on. Everything I have needs to be portable, quite light but still uh, allowing me to achieve the greatest shots. I'm gonna break down this specific setup and I'm starting by reviewing the tripod. This is the MT190X3. There are different versions on the Manfrotto website, also on Amazon and I found this one that was perfect for me. A lot of different features and perfect in terms of weight and size. This costs £139 by Amazon, tripod only. Let's talk about the material. This is aluminum and the tripod weights around two kilograms. The plate for the fluid head measures six centimeters so you can adapt one of those heads that fits the same diameter and also you will find a 3.8 inch screw on top of the plate. Let's talk about the legs of the 190X. We have three different sections. There you go, one, two and three. Bear in mind a three section legs tripod makes your tripod less portable but stronger and sturdier compared to a five sections legs for example like the compact action I'm using in front of me right now. I love these legs are very strong, they don't bend at all once again compared to the compact action, very simple to open up through the locks, you only have two locks, one and two and then you just slide them down. I love how the tubes run smoothly, in one second you have your tripod open or closed, 
simple as that. The legs actually have four different angles and you want to push this lock this time to achieve different angles. So it's a bit quirky in the beginning, you need to understand how it works. Basically you want to have your leg attached to your center column and then you just push down the lock and lift up the leg. And that's your first angle. Then you want to do the same, push down and up, second angle and once again and third and you've got one more and fourth so it kind of reaches a 90 degrees to get really low angle shots and then simple as that you unlock it again and you just go all the way down to close your tripod on a couple of legs here you will find two rubber handles these are actually very useful in particular in snow days like this i filmed another review last week as it was snowing and these two handles saved my hands from the cold so the aluminum is very cold but the rubber handles are actually very comfortable and quite warm to be honest also around one of the legs you will find an X key to open up your locks and also replace your locks let's talk about the dimensions of this tripod when it's completely closed like this the tripod measures the length measures 59 centimeters when you fully extend your legs Without the head, the tripod will reach the height of 135 centimeters. This is now at 135 centimeters. Also, when you lift the central column, you can reach 160 centimeters. I'm 180 centimeters. So whenever you put the camera on top, you will be able to reach the tallest people out there even for interviews for example. One of the features I love of this tripod is that it can reach actually nine centimeters from the floor. So what you want to do is very simple. You just take the central column off and it just comes off very easily. There you go. You replace it with this mount, with this plate, which is actually underneath the central column. You replace it, lock it in place. And now what you have to do is just to close the legs and open up all the legs at 90 degrees more or less and you will reach the floor but there you go that's your spider tripod and literally is nine centimeters off the floor and we got also extra features like a hook here to hang for example sandbags or weights to add extra weights and to keep the tripod down towards the floor we have a side hole if you have an extra arm you can attach your camera even sideways or facing down the safety payload recommended by Manfrotto for the 190X3 is 7 kilos as it is. The only downside I actually found for this tripod is that it doesn't come with the bag, with the carry bag. For the price of 139 pound, well, I would have included at least a simple bag. Okay, let's now talk about the fluid head. As I said, this is the MHX pro to w fluid head for video making i was looking for a smooth fluid head for my videos and i found this great option the size is perfect for me it can fit in my backpack it's not too heavy it's not too expensive either i found this at 99 pound on amazon link in the description and by the way all the products i'm using right now are listed in the description let's talk about the material this is all techno polymer which equals plastic apart from some of the screws and parts of the release plate it weights 76 grams so quite light and it measures 34 centimeters i'm talking about the handle but the head itself is 10 centimeters by 13. the head features a 3 8 inch attachment that fits perfectly as i mentioned on the 190x tripod so i'm going to guide you right now how to attach the two together very simple guys the two mount matches so the screw matches here you just put it on top of the plate and screw it clockwise and there you go now the next thing you want to do your head will still be spinning to the right hand side and also if you don't lock it with a screw underneath the plate as soon as you pan it quickly to the left the head will unscrew so what you want to do is to have a screwdriver with you guess what i have one so underneath the head you will find a screw and you just want to tighten it up like so a couple of spins now whatever side you're gonna spin your head the head will stay on top of the tripod that's very useful one of the first features you will notice about the head is the handle. So you have a knob on 
on the side here you can screw or unscrew the handle and turn it from a right-handed tripod actually head to a left-handed tripod there you go so a few seconds and you can just move the handle from one side to the other of the head second feature is the bubble lever right here on the head so it comes on the head and not on the tripod once again very useful feature to balance your camera properly on top of the tripod the head comes with a quick release plate I've got three of them by Manfrotto that I use throughout my gear so on gimbals tripod and so on it takes literally a few seconds to move your camera from a tripod onto a gimbal very useful I totally recommend to have some go and check them out in the description tab or you can find them also in the preview video about the compact action right here the quick release plate has a one quarter inch screw this time to put under your camera the downside I found about the head was actually on the release plate here the quick release plate this lever is a plastic lever and sometimes it kind of shakes when I place the big camera on top so that was the only downside and I really need to tighten up the screw to make it safe and secure the safety payload for this specific head is four kilos and once again it can hold my black magic with monitor v-mount battery and hold the frame and cage perfectly without problems even tilting down I didn't face any problems so far let's talk about tilting and we have a knob on the left hand side of the head which allows you to tilt the camera down to 90 degrees but only 60 degrees to tilt the camera up on the right hand side instead here we will find another knob for different kind of lenses so we have one for longer lenses like a 70 200 and one for smaller lenses like a 1635 for example or lighter and shorter lenses I think that just changes the friction for the different lenses so it just makes the head a bit stronger for the longer lenses at the back of the tripod instead we have the knob for the panning and you can just screw your knob right here and lock the panning mode or unlock it and just tilt 360 degrees around the tripod if you want to know the total height of this tripod together with the head well the math is simply done so we can reach 170 centimeters height just with the tripod and the head once again for the tallest people so if you're interviewing someone or just making vlog as I do I'm 180 centimeters this can definitely cover my total height and if you place the camera even on top of the gimbal well you can reach probably 190 centimeters so it's a perfect tripod for everybody out there final comments well as you've seen at the beginning through the test I think the head actually is very smooth so I definitely recommend it for travel photographers travel video makers as I am that need a portable tripod a portable head not heavy gear but still able to capture the best shots with this tripod stay ashore you'll be able to grab the best and professional looking shots I recommend it to people using DSLRs mirrorless cameras but also small and bigger cinema cameras like the one I'm using but even maybe for the Blackmagic Orsa and that kind of payloads I still consider it as a travel tripod in terms that you can you can walk with this tripod but but I wouldn't do hikes very long hikes because at the end of the day it's quite a heavy kit in particular for traveling also with a drone and extra tools like that but if you are commuting as I do or if you are spending sometimes on, on transports well then I recommend it you can fit it on the side of your backpack as I'm showing you here but bear in mind that this tripod even without the head will not fit in a cabin trolley for example on a plane so you want to put this in a bigger suitcase also I tested the 190x3 with a slider by Retric, and you can check that review right here which was very interesting very nice piece of kit as well go check it out and it worked perfectly even with a slider also because you can reach different heights so you can literally film at floor levels or 190 centimeters as well once again I have to say goodbye I hope you enjoyed the review I hope it was helpful in understanding if this is the tripod for you and if it helped you somehow consider to subscribe hit the like button and share the content with your content creators friends I can't wait to see you in the next video God bless you thanks for watching
Seems all good times come and go your way. Child memories fall under 